Hey everybody, so first of all, I hope you all had a very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year since it's almost 2012, which is absolutely crazy, but I hope you guys all had a really great holiday season and just had, you know, a really nice time. So for my first, well I guess it's not my first video of the new year, but pretty close, I thought I would do what is in my nail kit for my school. Now I'm in cosmetology school, it's a two-year program, in case you guys didn't know that. And today I actually got a new bag, so I kind of gave me the idea to do it. I sort of, you know, recleaned everything and disinfected all of it and everything. So anyway, I thought I'd show you guys what's in it and also give you guys some, you know, tips and disinfection tips in case you are in cosmetology school or if you're just going for a nail course. You know, I um, didn't really have any advice on what to bring. I just kind of had to play it by ear. And also, our school has, like, no supplies. <laughs> it's horrible. I mean, like, they don't have nail polish remover. They'll run out of files, they'll run out of buffers, they like have no nail polish. So it's basically bring your own stuff or you're screwed. So <laughs> I bought a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff I already own. And it's honestly not that expensive, um, especially since you are a student. If you're watching this, you're probably a student. Or maybe thinking about it. Or maybe you just want this, you know, just for your own home kit. You can, you know, pare it down a little bit. But if you are a student, you get student discounts at Sally's Beauty Supply, and you get you can get a cart at Cosmoprof, where everything is very discounted. So anyway, this is the bag that I used to use. It's this big clear, I, I tied this little scarf on, it's by Modella. And I got this at Walmart for 20 bucks, and it came with, I believe, five or six smaller makeup bags, so this is really great. I just found a new bag, and I wanted something different, that's the only reason I'm changing. But this is an absolutely amazing bag if you're going to be doing a nail course or a makeup course with nails included. I would get this. They have, I think, like different colors and stuff. It's amazing. But um, I'm not using that, but I am using most of the makeup bags that came with it for the extra stuff. So this is what I'm using now. I got this at Cosmo Prof today. It was on sale for 6 bucks. I thought it was so cute, and it's an OPI bag, and it's really adorable. And it has two side pockets. So this one just has a very random brush tint in it. I just thought it was cute so I picked it up. And then this one I'm keeping empty for when I use products on clients. I can put them right in here so I can sanitize them so they are separate from everything else which is very important. Sanitation and disinfection is the number one thing when working on clients. It is, it's above and beyond important. So it's nice to have an extra pocket or what I did before was I had an extra makeup bag where I would only use the contaminated items I use on our client. So that's the outside. It's a nice size, but it's very lightweight, which is something I like. So inside, the first one I have, again, this is one of the makeup bags that came with the big one. This makeup bag, and inside this one I have all of my, like, accidental precautions. I have this in here, which doesn't really belong in there, but this is a nail brush, which has been sanitized. Um, but the majority of this stuff is, like, I have a bunch of... These are little hand wipes, which are just nice. You can give one to your client and one to yourself before you work on them. So these are a really good thing to have. Also, gel, hand sanitizer, Purell, whatever you prefer. Um, I have gloves in here in case you either want to take off nail polish on your client and you have nail polish on yourself. They do have cotton pads, which have plastic on one side, but those tend to be expensive. So these are a great alternatives so you don't mess up your own manicure. Or if you would accidentally cut yourself or your client, you would want to immediately put gloves on and then start cleaning up. And then, again, this is another kind of random thing, but I have these little soak-off gel things, which I got, like, these at Cosmopop for free. It was, like, a, a deal they were doing. Then I have some of these extra files, which I hate these. Um, I got these in my kit with school. I got a few things for nails, but not much. Pretty much just the ultimate basics. I got these. I hate them. Um, these are disposable. You use them one time. And then you can either give them to the client or throw them away. I'd say just give them to your client. They can take it home and have a file. But um, you can buy these at the dollar store. And forgive this one nail. It ripped off and it hurt really badly. So I can't put it back on. But um, I just prefer nicer nail files. Which you can sanitize. And it's just easier to carry around one. But I have these just in case. So and then my gloves like I said. And a bunch of these. Just because they do come in handy. And so that is what's in this one. And then this is what I got, cover up my name, this is what I got in my school kit. And this is like the ultimate basics. It's just, and like this case is already falling apart. It's kind of crappy. But it's just like your clippers, your, oops, 
little spatula thing, um, scissors, cuticle nippers, orange sticks, which again, these are disposable, one time use only, give it to your client, you know, ask them if they want it first, if they do, then great, if they don't, then throw it away, do not use it on yourself or anybody else, um, clippers, metal stuff can be sanitized, and I will go into that later, this I bought myself, as ah, well, this I bought myself, this is a reusable one because it can be sanitized, I like it because I find it's more comfortable on the clients, um, it's more comfortable for me, because it's kind of rubbery, it's just, I like it, I got this at Cosmoprof for, I think, 59 cents, it was less than a buck, so super cheap, I like those a lot, but it just kind of has all the basics, which you can buy anywhere, and you can get them really cheaply, actually, this bag came with a couple items, too, it came with, like, a little mini manicure set, so, the ultimate basics are in this little pouch, but I just keep it with me. And then, this is also another one, it's just cuter, and it just has the scissors. I keep these with me, not because I need them, but because normally somebody in my class forgets their kit, and they're like, do you have any, like, cuticle nippers or, like, toenail clippers? I'm like, okay, you know, so I just carry these, just because it's, it's just cute, it looks cute in my bag. And then, something which is a really good idea, especially if you go to school like mine, where they are always running out of things, I don't have their money to replace them is these. These are mini bottles of, this is nail polish remover and this is acetone. Honestly, I use acetone for pretty much everything, um, from soaking off acrylic nails like mine to just taking nail polish off just because it's very quick and it removes glitter, so it's really easily, but sometimes, especially if a client has very weak nails, they just have regular polish on, you might want to use this so it's not as harsh. And, um, I got, I think I got both of these, yeah, I got both of these at Walmart. This was like a dollar or something and this was like 99 cents. They're the small ones so it doesn't weigh down your bag. You can refill. I also have the large ones of each. I have a large acetone which again I got at Walmart for like three bucks. So I can refill it but it's just it's not as heavy and <laughs> Chanel's looking. It's not as heavy and it's just more compact and easier to carry. And then also if somebody would forget to bring it up or if you don't have any left or you just want to do it really quickly you don't have to you know be wearing a product so you just have these in your bag. But my school always runs out of these and they don't reorder them, so I kind of have to have them. And then I have this little baggie. <laughs> Chanel's really fascinated by this. She's my little nail addict, too. But um, there's a baggie inside it. One has cotton balls, one has Q-tips. The Q-tips are great for cleaning up around the nail. If you make a little bit of a mistake, it's great for that. And the cotton balls, again, for removing nail polish because my school always runs out of them. And I love you too. <laughs> I think she wants to be in the video, but um, your school, if you're going to school, probably has a good stock of materials, and they probably have good materials. But unfortunately, my school doesn't, so I bring most of my own stuff. So that's just a good idea. And then in this cute little bag, which I actually wanted to give away a long time ago, it's really cute. Um, I keep all of my files. I have this little buffer that I have. This is still wet because I just disinfected it, but this is an OPI. I love, love, love OPI stuff. Um, I went to get my nails done recently and she used OPI. And I went and I bought the same stuff she used, well at least files anyway. So this is just a 180 and just it's a little file. And then I actually just bought the buffer today at Cosmo. This was like $1.20 and it's OPI. It's a good brand. It's a brand that most people recognize and it's super, super, super cheap. So I like that. And then I just have these two random nail files I picked up on sale. And I have a couple more of these cuticle pushers, which I just, I really like these. And I, I think they just look nicer than like the typical orange wood or, you know, wood stick ones. I think it looks nicer. So this is like the perfect size. I think this is actually a pencil case. But like I said, I won this, so I don't know where she got it. But um, Walmart, CVS, Target, any place that sells stuff, you know. Just really just think about it and be creative with it because the better organized you are the easier it is and it's just it makes your life so much easier so <laughs> and then in this cute bag which also came with the big clear one this is where I keep I have a nail glue in here this is amazing nail glue this is the five second professional nail glue I picked up at Sally's it comes in this tube like this and then you open it and the nail glues inside this is absolutely amazing I really love it I'm normally not like, oh my gosh, it's amazing, but this nail glue is really good, and it's, I think, under $2, if even cheaper than that, so I got it at Sally's. Very good if you're looking for a nail polish. But I also keep, um, I have a little wheel of rhinestones, which these are very expensive if you buy, if you buy these 
at Cosmo or Sally's. Sally's, this wheel, this size, will cost you 20 bucks. Go on eBay, and I got this for under 3 bucks, and this was years ago, and they've obviously lasted me a long time because there are a ton in here, but do not buy these at, uh, at Sally's or anything, unless you do want to, like, you can also buy Swarovski ones, which are really expensive. Honestly, though, they're going to fall off your nail. Just get these. I got the whole, I got all the rhinestones plus the nail wool for like $3 on eBay, so super cheap. And then um, also in here I have my Conad and the Conad knockoff, which I just recently picked up. It's the purple one. I mainly got it for the plates because <coughs> you got like 10 plates for 10 bucks or something like that. This is the original Conad. It's pink. Um, I prefer this stamper, but they're both good. Um, but I mainly bought it just because I wanted the plates because I don't have that many, but now I have a ton of plates in my collection. So they're both really nice if you want a Conad. You can get the knockoffs at like dollar stores and stuff. So that's what I keep in here. And then something that isn't in my bag because I actually decided to keep this in my locker at school. So I'm keeping it separate so I don't forget when I go back to school. I'm on Christmas break right now, thank God. But um, <laughs> this is my Tammy Taylor nail kit. And this was saying that we had to buy for our, buy ourselves. The school did not supply it for us. It's 100 bucks, so it was pricey, but you can charge more if you use Tammy Taylor. It's one of the more expensive brands. Honestly, I don't care for it very much, um, being completely honest. I prefer OPI. That's why I had these acrylics done in at um, the salon I go to. She used OPI, and it just looks so easy to work with. I love the files. I love the buffer. I'm not crazy about this stuff. Tammy Taylor, I think, is overpriced, and I think it is. It's just too much. Um, you have to use, like, five different files, and the product is easy, that easy to work with. I just, I don't care for it. I haven't used OPI's acrylic powders. I've only used their files, but I love their files. But, um... Just from watching her do my nails in OPI, it seems so much easier to work with, and I like it a heck of a lot better. But, um, technically you can charge more for this. You can charge like 50 for a manicure, but that's what I paid for these, and it wasn't Tammy Taylor, so. And this doesn't even come with the tips. This is just for sculpted nails. So if you have a choice, I wouldn't buy this. I would just get some stuff, some OPI stuff at Cosmo, but that's just my opinion. A lot of people love this. So just, you know, do whatever you want, whatever you're comfortable with, because that's what's going to make you feel good about it, is if you work with a product that you know you can work well with, instead of working with a product that you can't work well with and you don't get it and it frustrates you, so just don't even bother. <laughs> and then, um, this is another thing that is in my bag, and this is just a three ring binder. I think this is like a one or two inch. And this is our procedure manual, and this is where we keep, this has everything from um, like hair, like this is the very basic first one I got was general hair and scalp massage and how to wash your hair to like massaging and stuff. If your teacher doesn't give you these, you can easily find these online. Just look up, you know, like the steps of a basic manicure. Print it out, put it in a notebook. I definitely recommend getting some of these clear plastic because when you're working on a client, you know, if your salon, if your school has client nights and stuff, you can just fold it over. You can have it right here. If you get it wet, it wipes off. If you get nail polish on it, once it dries, you can peel it off. So you don't have to worry about, you know, ruining the pages or anything. And it's really nice. And it's just kind of like a safety net thing. You know, if you forget how to do something or if you're just having one of those blonde days where you cannot remember your own name, it's nice to have this as a backup. And um, since you are in a learning environment, you should be allowed to have like instructions with you since you are a student so this is a really good idea that my teacher came up with and it's something that I have used and appreciate and then last but not least the most fun thing this weighs like 10 pounds on its own this was yet another bag that came with that set so you see it's a really good deal for 20 bucks to get all these bags anyway this is all my nail polish for school now my own personal collection I keep at home um, because I there's no way I could take it to school last count was over 450 nail polishes that I own. I am a nail polish addict, but um, I just picked a few doubles that I had, and also whenever I go to like CVS or Sally's or Cosmo, when I see like nail polish sets like discounted all the way down to like a buck, I get it just so I can fill this up. And I'm not gonna go through each one, but I have quite a few, and I have my all-time favorite top coat in here, which is China Glaze. What is this called? Fast Forward Top Coat. This dries nail polishes super quickly. And then I just have, I mean, I have blue-greens in here, I have 
basic black. I have reds. Our school has really old, kind of gross nail polish, so I just bring my own. And then I also keep nail, wheel, nail wheels in here that I have my nail art on. And um, these are so much fun. Also, like I can practice on it if I want, or if I'm doing somebody's nail, I can swatch the nail polish so they can see what it looks like. But these are some, like there's some cupcakes I did, a little wrap present, um, like a little Minnie Mouse one, just some dots. These are ones I just recently did. I like this one. This one's popcorn. It's kind of hard to see it. That's supposed to be a um, clone trooper from Star Wars. It didn't really look like that though. It's a little French manicure, a little panda bear, some dots, um, Japanese cherry blossom, ladybug. You know, to be honest, I actually haven't worked on any clients yet. I've only worked on fellow students. But a lot of times they'll look at my nail wall and they'll be like, I want that one on my nails, you know, so. It's kind of fun, and then you can just kind of show off, you know, your nail art skills, but it's fun, and I love these. I got these at Sally's. I got a pack of 10 of them for, like, $3.54-ish. I know it's under 5 bucks, but these are really great, especially if you really are into nails, um, and you want to do it for a living, and you want to practice your nail art, because that's definitely something that is, you know, more unique if you're able to do that. You know, a lot of people can polish a nail, but not everybody can do nail art, so... It's definitely something you might want to practice, and these are really nice for practicing on. So, that is my what's in my nail kit. And I just wanted to go over a couple things of disinfecting, just some things that have helped me out a little bit. And these are like my two best friends. <laughs> and both of these are very inexpensive and will last a very long time. Well, especially this one will last a really long time. So this is huge. But I picked this up at Sally's, and this is the Mar-V Side Spray Disinfectant. Kills most germs, eliminates odors, prevents mold and mildew, kills household germs, and um, it says it's supposed to kill the HIV virus, which is AIDS, um, it kills salmonella, it basically kills everything. I use this on my nail files. You do want to be careful though, some of them are not able to be disinfected. The Tammy Taylor ones can be disinfected. To be honest, I'm not sure about the OPI, but I just disinfected one of them right before I did this video and it's fine now. So, um, any metal implements, like your toenail clippers, can be disinfected. This was, I think, $8, but this thing's going to last a really long time. The only thing is I wish it came with, like, a small one that you could travel with so I could have it in my nail bag, but that's okay. I just bring them home and sanitize them at home once I get home. But, yeah, this is great. I got it at Sally's. Or, actually, no, the price is on here. If you don't have a cart at all, it's $9.99. If you have a cart, it's $9.99. 49 and then the little coated price that is for professionals or students and it's $8.99 so as you see the discount is really good if you get a student discount if you're a student so and then this is something that I picked up at Giant Eagle actually it was like two dollars and this is alcohol but this is 91% alcohol so it is very strong um it's not quite hospital grade because hospital grade is 99% which I believe you can buy at Sally's, but this is pretty good. If you can get 91%, it's pretty good. And you can use this, like, on those plastic... <laughs> Chanel's so fascinated by this. You can use those... You can use this, like, on your plastic items, such as the cuticle posters I showed you, the ones with the red tip. You can swab it off with alcohol. So this is a really good thing. Also, like, if blood would spill, you can use this to clean it. You know, you get the gist. I also use this for makeup, just for my own personal use. Um... I mix it with shampoo and sweat with baby shampoo and that's what I use to wash my makeup brushes in so they are sanitized and clean. I also um, will spray makeup that I receive in swaps that have been used. I'll spray makeup off with this and it will completely disinfect it like it's brand new. So two really good tips, um, stuff people a lot of times will overlook but it's extremely important especially if you want to once you graduate and get your license, especially if you want to maintain your license. If state board walks in to your salon or to the salon you're working in, sees that you're using dirty implements, see that you're not disinfecting, you will lose your state board license very quickly. <laughs> so you definitely want to make sure you sanitize. It's not expensive. It's not really a hassle. It doesn't take that long. This especially, since both these things, I'm guessing, have an alcohol base. Um, just trying to see the ingredients. I don't know. But since, especially the alcohol, it evaporates so fast, this dries really quickly so disinfect your stuff that's like the number one thing but yeah I just hope this helps especially if you're going to cosmetology school or if you're planning on going or if you're going for a nail tech course 
which I know a lot of people do. I hope this kind of helps because I know I would have really appreciated seeing a video like this when I started because there was nobody out there to help me. There was no one to say, oh, this is really what you should bring. And of course, this is going to vary school to school. Your school may be very well, um, well off in the materials department. They may have a lot of supplies and are able to keep their supplies current and able to keep everything in stock. Ours, unfortunately, doesn't. So I had to bring on my own stuff. You may not have to bring half the stuff. You know, you may always have nail polish over there. But it's just nice. And then I have my own stuff. And then I know what I'm using is clean. So it just kind of makes me feel better. But this is just what I carry. Let me know what you guys carry if you go to school or you're planning on going to. Let me know what you guys take. And, you know, me I'll get some ideas from you guys. And I hope this helped. And Chanel says bye. <laughs> See you guys later. Bye.